So I'm, I'm looking for products that will, will make anywhere between sort of two and a half thousand to three thousand pounds of profit per product. And if I can get, if, if I can have eight to ten of those, then that's that's pretty much me then set. Hey everyone, we are joined here by Greg. Um, he's one of the Seller Pro Academy members and also uh, one of the 10K Club members. Uh, proudly joined, I think it was uh, in May, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Uh, so welcome. Thank you for joining us, being able to get on uh, on a phone call, Skype call to discuss your journey. So um, I think the first thing I want to ask is I'm going to take you on a, a trip down memory lane <laughs> and I want to I want to take you back to like before you actually started selling well before you even like enrolled in the academy um what what brought you to amazon have you had an experience in it before like give us a bit of a backstory um basically i just i mean i, I used to be i used to be quite a skeptical person and i thought if it was that easy everyone would do it yeah do it, well, yeah. just so i had that mindset with something <laughs> like this and then you and again when, when when the way you talk about it you make it sound really easy Mm-hmm. which uh so that so that sort of always put me off a little bit and i just thought one day why not why not why not give it a go I had a little bit of disposable income and i thought i can either try and save it and save it and save it to eventually spend it on nothing yeah or waste it um or I th- and i thought do you know what so i had a chat with the with the missus and i thought and she just said do you know what if you if you think that it'd be it'd be good i mean i come from a sales background anyway and i just thought do you know what i'll give it a crack and I, and I and I did, and I don't regret it at all. Wicked. What did it, did it take you like long to make that decision? And were you looking at other different? Because obviously you must have been maybe looking for like something to to do as a side hustle. Uh, were there other things you were looking at at the time? Um, I mean, I'm all. I mean, we, we, obviously being in, being in marketing and sales, I'm always looking at what I get for a side <laughs> hustle. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, I'm, I mean, that being said, I'm, I am quite decisive. So, I mean, for for, the, for my decision, it took all of about ten minutes. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> you know, in all honesty, it was. Uh, do you know what? I've got, well, I jumped onto the um, the webinar that you did. I'd already been, I'd already I'd already looked. Sorry, at another webinar, and I can't remember what it's called now. Two American lads. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember the name of them now, but when 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 obviously when they were going through theirs, I just thought they're they're a, they're a bit too sort of like commercial, like American commercial, cheesy. And then when I came on to you and watched yours, yours was far more in depth. Uh, it was really informative, and I just, and it, it just made the decision really easy in all fairness. Mm-hmm. Okay, and how was your experience then going through the course and kind of like learning this this new like business model? Again, again, real. It was. Do you know what? It was really easy to absorb. I'm personally, I'm dyslexic, okay. so I and I've and I have a very short attention span. So if I'm not interested in something, I'm, I find it very hard to concentrate or absorb anything. But I could, I, like, I found myself like watching your videos for like three or four hours on on the trot, mm, nice. and and de- and just really easy to absorb. And for me, I think I think a lot of people might. I think people who might be a bit sort of. Uh, not encouraged to do this are people who maybe aren't uh, or maybe not don't think they're out like re- like very clever or it or this or whatever and others think for, if i can do it it's mm-hmm. uh <laughs> that's a benchmark I yeah think, uh, i mean yeah i mean the i think i think i know what you mean because the lessons you know there's no fluff it's straight to the point so there's always something kind yeah. of keeping you interested like much like obviously with the youtube videos there's fluff there's intros there's you know, there's, yeah. there's boring stuff. Whereas in, in a training, it's just like, right, well, this is what you need to know. Let's go and learn it. And and then, you know, after a few minutes, the video is done. Um, so that's, yeah, that's really, that's really interesting. It's really good feedback. Um, did you have a, like a, a budget in, in mind when you're starting? So you said you had a bit of disposable income you put aside to, you know, to invest. Um, yeah. Did you have a budget in mind or were you just kind of running with it? I mean, a lot of the, see a lot of the, you get a lot of the um, videos that I've seen online. And a lot of them were, oh, you only need two and a half grand to start up Amazon. I, I mean, and obviously then, obviously going through your course, and that was quite apparent that you need, you, you do need a little bit more than that. Um, but uh, I, I had a budget of uh, ten thousand. Wow. Okay. And our first order, our, our first like landing price 
for all of our units was uh, six and a half thousand. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so I think I think that it's I think that it's in, uh, as much as much as there are there are obviously there's loads of products out there that you can get mm-hmm. that, that are much cheaper. It's just obviously we we went with something that we that we had within yeah. our budget. I think that's, so, uh, that's that's really important. Is whenever and if anyone listening is that you know having a budget is so so important because otherwise you don't know what you're looking for and yeah. you know you, there's cheaper products there's more expensive products and there is a barrier to entry for every single person depending on their budget and the good thing is when you have a little bit more you know if you set a budget of 10 grand that gives you you know obviously way more um choices to be able to find products because there's more you know there's more products that are more expensive um so how did you actually find your product is there a specific method you used or is it something that you kind of like saw in the shop or, or something you bought I um yeah funnily enough it was uh, I was helping out my uh, my brother's a carpet cleaner mm-hmm. um, and uh, he does a lot of stuff in, in in Manchester city centre and we were in we were in a new block of flats that had just opened mm-hmm. so we got so I was giving and, and he and he needed them all done so I just thought right, I'll give him a bit of an hand and I do every now and again so I'm I'm, and I'm just and I'm having a chat with him about it and I said. There's, there's certain ways that people are using. I'm finding it a little bit difficult to do that. And like, literally, he just said, well, obviously, we're in here now. What you've got to think about is what do people who are going to move into a flat, what are they going to need? So I just found myself walking around an apartment mm-hmm. and thinking, what would I buy straight yeah, off the bat? Yeah, yeah. And, I, and, and it just – and it just, I came up with – I had a, had a couple of ideas. I've, I've Personally, I, I've built – a um, profit calculator, which will, um, which I've given to an accountant. He's checked it all out. Thinks it's amazing. It just means that it makes it a lot quicker for you to put in your manufacturer's price, your shipping price, and it'll calculate everything for you with your seller, seller central, your FBA fees. It'll give you how much profit per unit you're going to make. Mm-hmm. So that, so that was done quite quick and. Uh, you know, it, it takes a little, you know, to and fro in, to and fro in. But if if you, you know, if, if you just stick to it, it's uh, it can be a little bit. It can be. It's hard work. Don't don't get me wrong. And it, it, I mean, it, and it pay and it pays out. But it's uh, mm-hmm. that's I, I came up, I came up with mine just of like walking around as an empty yeah, apartment. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's really important. Is when you're like starting on product research. Obviously, there's tools that you can use, but you know, it's, it's all about just getting ideas, right? And for you, yeah. those ideas were, you know, looking at people's real life, like what happens when you move in somewhere? And I, I've never actually thought of, or even thinking like in that way, but it's such a good point when you move in somewhere, there's so many things that you need to buy, like in every different room, there's always going to be a whole like host of different products. And most of them are going to be bought from Amazon. So you know, it's such yes. a good idea is think about, you know, real people in real life, and what are people actually buying? And that's a great way to go about it. And you know, hopefully you can find something that you kind of have a bit of an interest in as well. So yeah. what, hap- what happened? So you did all this, you kind of sourced it, you got your products landed, um, and then what happens? Um, I mean, I mean, the day, the, the, the day that we, uh, that, it all, that they all landed in, in the Amazon warehouse, uh, me, and, uh, me and a friend of mine had a, had a bit of a drink and because uh, <laughs> it was like that, that was the start. It was gonna, it was gonna go off. And it took, it took, a, it took a few days. Um, I think it was, I think it was up for a couple of days, and uh, and then we sold the unit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it was just like, wow, right, okay, so now we're off. Mm-hmm. We tried, um, we did, we used pay-per-click, mm-hmm. uh, obviously for for the uh, you know the sponsored ads and what have you. Uh, used them for for a little while and changed up our keywords and. Uh, tweaked it and uh, and uh, basically just made it perfect. Altered our photos around basically everything that it says in the in the actual course. Do you know what I mean to sort of tweak it around? You'll find find your way. Uh, and uh, I'm, and now we're num- one and two uh, over a number of search terms on page one, and we're always either one, two, and sometimes number three. That's amazing. But, uh, That's what it's, it's, yeah, it's just fantastic. And how, so I, you know, I've seen the, you know, your screenshot of your sales. Um, and then as soon as it looks, it, it looks like as soon as coronavirus hit, then your sales took a massive increase. Or was it just before? I can't, I can't remember what month it was, but it was the month. I remember there was the a month. big, a big increase, wasn't there? Yeah. 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 The month before, the, the month before it all kicked off, I, I would say our sales that went up. Uh, and that's mainly because 
we'd been we'd we been moved to we'd moved up to position one, two, and sometimes three, um, over a number of search terms. So so we do quite well on that. Um, and then the, the the month where everyone was in lockdown, it was like bump all of our stock completely gone. <laughs> <laughs> how long did it take to sell out, and like how and roughly how much did that work out to, you know, on like a, a, a day like the best day, for example? Uh, I think our best day was nineteen. Nice. Um, and I mean, obviously, when we started the first month, it was like one, then the next day two, then the next day one, then the next day three. And four, and I think I think our biggest jump was when I think we'd sold, I think our our our, our um, record at that point was like maybe seven sales in a day, and then our biggest jump was like from seven. The next record that we then had was sixteen. Mm-hmm. So we were like, oh my god! And then it just started increasing from there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then obviously some some of the reviews came in and the, and the ratings, and you you just start to really buzz off that and it's just like well people genuinely like like the product Mm -hmm. um and uh and obviously people again the bundling is really important because it's got to be you know it's got to be fit it's got to fit with your actual product itself Mm -hmm. and uh but the the bundling bit is an absolute genius idea yeah yeah and it and and it's worked as well so you sold out so you currently still uh no stock or have you managed to get some back in like what's the what's the plan for that product going forward uh, the, pa- the plan for this product going forward is we have we've redesigned the box because obviously we have, we have, we've had a little bit more money so we've redesigned the box. Um, we've got because the f- first box was like it was like a glossy black and now we've gone for like a uh, matte teal coloured box. Nice. Look, it just looks a lot more professional. It looks nice. It's smart. Um, and uh, we've got uh, we had we, the first order was 504 units and because of how well it did. The second order that we've that we've pay, uh, done paid for it's on route here now was um, 2004 units. Nice. Um, and, uh, and then we just plan to increase it every order. We're going to uh, obviously order more and more. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So what what are the plans for the rest of this year? Because I, I can assume a lot of your profits are going to be reinvested into that product to make it you know to get the cash flow on point and all that sort of stuff. Um, but do you have any other plans? Yeah, well, it's uh, obviously, obviously, I mean, the, the big, the big, the big indicator for this was obviously like, right, it works. Do you know what I mean? And it was just like that was a massive thing. It was like, right, this works. <laughs> so I have uh, acquired more money, nice. and I am, um, I've got a sort of a purchasing plan now where I've ordered um, two more product pr- product samples. They're on the way here already. Mm-hmm. Um, so they, so obviously, if all goes well and they're they're perfectly okay, get them, get them, get the deposit on them, get them, get them purchased, and hopefully they'll be here for about latest November. Mm-hmm. And um, and then when they get here, I, I'll have another two more products organised and ordered before December. Nice. And then by next quarter, first quarter of next year, I want another three products ordered. <laughs> So you're going, and, you're going uh, all all in on it, basically. Oh, I'm going all in. I'm going oh, all amazing. in. I'm going all in on it. It's like, it's like so, buying your course. It was just, uh, yeah. it's a no brainer <laughs> And you're just like, yeah, now it works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some money. I'm gonna yeah. do it. Make some money back. Yeah, yeah, like you know, that's how business works. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's 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 incredible, and I think you know that drive is really important. But do you have a goal like financially for the for the Amazon business? Is it a case you just want to build it to bring in some like recurring income or build to sell or, or have you even thought that that far ahead? I'm I'm sure you have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I have. Uh, I mean, I'm a. I don't. I mean, I'll I'll never I'll never want to retire. Mm-hmm. I'm too. I, I like being busy. I like being stressed. So I've got my. I've still got my my day to day job. Um, which is a company that I have, and um, and then I've got the Amazon. Well, ideally, if I if I can get, obviously one of the things that on, on the course it says obviously don't try not to attract too much attention. So I'm, I'm looking for products that will will make anywhere between sort of two and a half thousand to three thousand pounds of profit per per product. Mm-hmm. And if I can get if if I can have eight to ten of those products, yeah, then that's that's pretty much me then set. If, if anything happens to my work, I could leave that and I could just do Amazon or this could be a, a gateway to obviously property buying 
Uh, it just it opens up so many different doors uh, for you to, to basically do whatever you want, really. Yeah, yeah um, absolutely. So has, has it changed your, I guess, because you're pretty decisive um, from what you've said about, you know, getting getting involved. Yeah. How, has it changed your mindset then in terms of what's possible um, kind of on Amazon from basically just buying products and selling them to, to before when you started? Yeah. How, like how, how has that changed your mindset? Uh, I mean, it's it's sort of, it's sort of ruined the buying experience for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's uh, I think it's I think it's a bit like being an actor or an actress and then watching a film. Yeah. Okay. That's a really good analogy. Yeah. You, you can you know see I mean? behind the scenes. You think I know what exactly. You're doing. Yeah. It's like yeah. I don't know how that works. Yeah. <laughs> or if, or if, if whatever I buy off Amazon, I always find myself analysing their box and the packaging and stuff. I'm like. Oh, they could have done better on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. When you see like, there's a typo on that, like they should have checked that. Yeah. Or like, we oh, are yeah. how many, they haven't done this. Like, why haven't they got that? Yeah. So, no, I know what you mean. I, I sometimes, you know, when I'm looking for a product, I go through and I look for the ones that have launched recently. So they're the cheaper price. So it's the same product yeah. and I just buy, <laughs> buy the cheaper one. <laughs> so you, can, you always know how, if you know how it works, you can always like get a deal. You can yeah. always yeah, find definitely, yeah. that are better. And that's wicked. That's, that's incredible. Um, so, Given um, your position now, like you know what you what you want to do in the future with your Amazon store um, and your whole experience, is there any advice you'd give to someone that's that's looking to start, maybe skeptical, like you know you were previously? Um, is there any advice or if, like yeah you would give to that person? Do it. Do it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Dead short and sweet. It, just get it done. Do, just just do it. It's it's like uh, it's like you go on holiday. You know the water's going to be cold. Just jump <laughs> in. Just get it over and done with. The initial shock is a lot worse than the water underneath. Yeah. Just get it over and done with. And I'm telling you now, it's what it's a massive eye opener. It's it it is fun. Mm-hmm. It is fun to do. And um, I'm personally doing it. I'm sort of like doing it with somebody, mm-hmm. um, a friend of mine who just sort of partnered up. He, he wants to obviously be involved in a business, and obviously for, for, for when I'm doing all these other products. And, and obviously, I've got my business running alongside of it. I'm going to need a bit of help with it as well. So it is fun to do as a pair. Not going to lie, we've had a right laugh over it, and nice. it's it's an enjoyable thing to go. I mean, you are going to argue, but <laughs> it's do you know what? In the, in the end, in the end, end of the day, it's business. It's it's just it's just fun. Yeah. And uh, talking to the uh, talking to obviously the Chinese lot, they are some of them are hilarious. Yep. Yeah, they just they just, they just are. They've, they have got a very good sense of humour. Obviously, I tried to learn a bit of Chinese. Nice. Uh, yeah, and, then, and then you like, and then you hash it, it you hash it up and they was yeah. Like <laughs> and, 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 and do you know what? And they and they and, and they love it. And like, because I think on 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 the course it says obviously their culture is very respectful. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously they've got they hold a lot of it in, in like honour. And I just thought, do you know what? If if it if it means that I can sort of create a good working relationship with uh, with whoever I'm talking to. And, like, and they love that. They, yeah, they love do. it. Yeah, absolutely. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's a, it's their business. They're trying to make money for their business. You're trying to make money for yours. You might as well have a bit of a laugh and a good relationship. Yeah. And that does make a massive difference. Having a good relationship with the supplier is so important. I remember I got um, the first time I spoke, I can't remember what supplier it was, but I got on the phone to them and I got on Skype and we're just walking around the factory, like talking to me, and I was like being like, "Oh, what's that over there?" It's like you need to clean that up; it's a bit dirty. <laughs> 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 and they're just having a yeah. laugh. So it's yeah, supply relations are so important, and that will, you know, that's a, a really important skill that as you go through, like you, you know, that's literally invaluable, and that will save you a lot of money, like definitely. Um, that's amazing. Yeah. So thank you for that. Um, thank you for. I think we'll we'll round it up there. That's incredible. Thank you for spending your time and, and talking Thank through you. it. Um, if anyone has any questions, then um, just ping them down in the comments and, you know, either maybe yourself or I will, will get back to people as soon as, as soon as possible. I'm sure there's questions that I should have asked that I, I didn't ask. And there's always something that people want to know. Um, and then if you are watching this and you want to get involved in the academy, then the link is down in the description. It might be closed when I release this video. So um, if it's closed, then unfortunately it is. But it will be opening up um well, at some point. So yeah, thank you, Greg. I really, really appreciate your time. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed it at home. Thank you very much.